Hello, I am JoJo for JoJo Central, and I will be reviewing Shaq Fu A Legend Reborn for Nintendo Switch today. Getting right in, here's my overview for the game. Shaq Fu is a retro style beat em up game in the sense of Streets of Rage or Double Dragon, with cartoonish 3D graphics and hand drawn FMVs, all with vibrant colors and aesthetically pleasing animations and structures. The characters all look cartoonish yet somewhat realistic creating a unique and respectable art direction that I really appreciate. The game takes taste in six levels, Hung Lo, South America, Hollywood, Bel Air, Fiji, and Hell, all with four to six checkpoints and at least one boss per level, sometimes two bosses. All the bosses have different moves and patterns that you must adapt to in, in combination with being savvy with Shaq's own moveset to be able to progress at any good rate. There are sometimes enemies that seem to repeat all through the levels but with slight alterations such as the babyface acolytes who attack quickly and are most effective in large numbers or the fascists who can grow to a large size which will make them harder to kill. There are also unique enemies to every level and the story helps weave these otherwise unrelated levels together in a surprising yet entertaining way. How do you go from Fiji to Hell without cosmic plot holes? The story is also surprisingly good with relatable characters like Yi Yi who have shady backgrounds or Shaq himself who is different from his real life counterpart making for an entertaining character who can sometimes be self aware. I could go on forever with things in this game because there's so much to describe. But next I have my pros for the game. The gameplay is fun and intuitive unlike the original and the controls are mapped to buttons that make sense and are fun to play with. The amount of enemies can be frustrating sometimes, but I am not that much of a beat em up person myself, so I guess that's what comes with a beat em up game, is the amount of enemies. But they aren't always going to be the same thing done repeated for six long levels, which breaks the monotony and makes the game fun. And after that, here are my cons. The game is surprisingly short, which can be completed in about three to four hours if you sat down with it and concentrated on it. And there really weren't that many out of the way secrets, if any at all, which doesn't help make the game replayable in any way all that much. Which is very necessary if you want the game to have a good consumer image and make it people want to talk about it more. And to top it off, for, for the game you are playing, it doesn't feel like a $40 admission you have to pay. The amount of it is a major drawback to the game, it's just minor gripes, things that could add up that I if not addressed. And now, last but not least, my final verdict for the game. It's very fun and enjoyable, with lots of things to do in the short but sweet campaign, with lots of humor and references to real life products and people. If I were to give this game a score, I would happily give it an 8.5 out of 10. This has been JoJo for JoJo Central, reviewing Shaq Fu Legend Reborn for Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want. Again, this has been JoJo for JoJo Central, signing out. Thank you, have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.